Hey guys, Luke the Drifter here, and I wanted to talk a bit about these water bladders. Um, so yeah, selling a heap at the moment. They've always been a good seller, and as you might have seen, we've done this nice little boot liner bag that goes around so you can hand it to carry it around, and also protects the bag underneath in the seat area from all of the uh, seat fittings, okay? The front seat fittings, so it basically tucks in underneath the seat. Got metal fittings there, so that works really good to protect it. Now someone emailed me this morning, they said, you know, there's been a few reports of, of a PVC taste in the bladder and what am I, what have I, what am I gonna do about it? And, um, you know, so I wanted to talk about that quickly. Now, end of the day, it is a PVC bladder. It is uh, drink water safe. I've got, the, I've got all the data, each batch, that we get made, they're a stock and product, they're imported. Each batch we get a drink water safe certificate, okay? By the end of the day, PVC is going to have a bit of a taste, okay? Now we do a lot of uh, water tanks in vehicles. We've done that for many years. We've got our own roto molded plastic tanks made in Queensland. And we've had the same problems with them for years. People saying, oh, there's a bit of a taste, a plastic taste. Well, you will, you will get a little plastic taste in a plastic tank. We did the dot trailers for many years and made 400. There was 800 different water tanks and they're all got the same problem. People ring up and say, oh, it's got a plastic taste. Well, they will, you know, and not much you can really do about it. You can wash it out with bicarb soap as much as you like. A plastic water tank's got to have a little bit of plastic taste. The only thing you can do to stop that is a stainless steel tank. Now, for when you talk to Beachy, if you want a zero taste water tank, you get a stainless steel tank. But where this is 150 bucks, the stainless steel tanks are around $700. Obviously you're not going to get a, you know, you could get a stainless tank for a truck like this if you wanted to, no worries. But if you want a little bladder, you know, unless it's stainless steel, you're going to get a taste. So, there's that. Um, even, we, we used to get a made in Australia down in Melbourne. They were, and I've, I've been to the factory that makes them, I've been to the factory that makes the PVC, all certified drink water safe. We had the same problems. You get, you're going to get a little taste. A lot of it too depends on the weather. You know, if you sit this out in the sun or that's in a hot car, Okay, you're going to get more of a taste than if it's in cool weather. You know, you know, anything PVC in hot weather, you're going to get that heat will create a bit of taste. You know, so the thing is, when you're camping, you know, I've done a lot of camping, and we just did as an example the Canning Stock Route, six weeks on the road, and I had two of these bladders, one on each side of the car, and we used them every single day for washing our face in the morning, having a shower in the evening. Um, camp water for washing up dishes every night we'd wash up our dishes with this camp water okay now we do sell them as technically it is a drink water safe product okay it is listed drink water safe but is it any good for a drink water bladder I'd probably say no like I'm not going to drink out of it okay so I just sort of wanted to make this clear we use it it's essential for us for our travels we had 60 litres each side so 120 litres and at Coonawarraji halfway we refilled them up again okay what we did for drinking water was, when every service station, you can buy these. Every service station, doesn't matter where you are, that's good drinking water. We use these here. That's your little 10 litre bladders, you know. These are great, I love those. We've got them in this nice little pouch here. You can hang them anywhere. You put it on the, like this here, right? So I, I would normally sit it there, All right? You can fill up your, um, you know, your cup of tea, your jug. And you've got that nice sort of uh, handle, and that bag protects it. Without that bag, you know, these do, you know, with, with a bit of rough treatment, that that bladder, the cardboard bladder, will fall apart. And I can tell you, once it falls apart, it's a mess, you know. So it's worthwhile having those. But for the trip, I had three of these. Um, that's 30 liters of drink water, which in the day you're drinking some water during the day. Although you can buy that from servos, you're having a cup of tea at night or a coffee. 100% you want pure, fresh, untainted drink water. I cannot drink a cup of black, I only drink black tea or coffee, and I can't drink black tea unless it's pure water. If it's got any taste, it just tastes terrible. Ask Uncle Richard, you know, he filled up his, he was drinking out of this, and he filled up Coonawarraji, and after Coonawarraji, he couldn't drink out of the water. Now, is that the bladder, or is it the water that's going in? It's the water that went into it, so that's the other thing we'll talk about. But my recommendation is, get yourself some of those. We sell these little bags. There's your 10 litres of drink water. You're going for a weekend or three, four days that'll last. Okay, and every servo you can top up with some of those. Nice not to have to buy plastic water bottles, but in the day, this is not really designed for drinking water. Okay, even though it's certified as a drinking water um, container. But you need a lot of water. You know, you need 20 litres of water every day, and you only need a couple of waters actually you drink. Because, you know, you're drinking beer, you're drinking coffee, you're drinking 
orange juice, there's a lot of things you can drink besides pure water, okay? More water the better to drink. Now the other thing too is, you know, that's, that's the bladder from the trip. I'm just chucked that back in the shed and in six months time we're going to pull it out, I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to use it. Now I, I haven't, I have emptied it out but there's still water in there, right? There's a little bit of water in there. In six months time what that water's like, I've no idea. But I'm going to get the hose, clip that on and I'm going to fill it up with water and I'm going to go away camping. I ain't going to drink it because by that time, who knows what's in there. And the other thing too is we filled this up in Kunawaraji as well. And I don't know what it tastes like because I've never tried it. But I know Richard tried it and he's, he couldn't drink it. Okay. Now, the thing is, the majority of the taste that's getting into these is from, is from the hose that you're putting it in, in by. Like if you bought 1.5 litres, if you bought 40 of these and tipped it in there, you probably won't get it. You probably won't get a PVC taste, honestly. But nobody does that. You ain't going to buy 40 of them and tip it in there. What you're going to do, you're going to get your hose, right, out in the middle of some cattle station or Kunawaraji and fill it up with boar water or who knows what sort of water, and that's what's going in, and you're going to get a taste. Now, the other thing too is this is how you fill it up all the time. Every time I've ever done this, I click that on there, and I fill it up, okay? Um... Now I'm a Gen X, right, 52, so I'm classic Gen X, and we grew up drinking water out of taps, you know, we never went to the shop, we, there was no bottle of water, you know, fancy that, there was no bottle of water, you couldn't buy that when I was a young fella, and we lived on the streets, roaming around every, no, every afternoon after school till dark, we were roaming around the streets, and if we wanted a drink, we would go to the nearest person's front yard, it didn't matter who they were, we'd find their tap, we disconnect the hose and drink straight from the tap. We'd never drink from a hose because you know why? Because the hose is full of, sh it's shit. It tastes like crap. It's full of PVC taste. So this hose here, it's been in the sun all day, right? So it's been hot, right? So Gen X young kids would never drink out of a hose ever because we all know it tastes like shit, right? Now maybe that's the problem. You know, maybe the people don't realise that. Now that tastes absolute shit, because it, all it does, it tastes like PVC. Of course it does, it's because it's, it's a bloody PVC hose, okay, it's lying in the sun. Now, so if you put shit tasting PVC water into a PVC bladder and ring me up and say, oh, it's got a PVC taste, well, where did that PVC taste come from? It's probably the hose. Now the other thing too is, uh, I was up the Cape, my first Cape York trip, and I went to a bloke's house in, in Cairns, and filled up, I had another bladder, same as this, but it's behind the seats. One we used to do behind the seats, 60 litres still. And typical, bloody North Queensland, we filled up with a hose, didn't check. And then when I got to up the top of, um, start of Cape York, needed some water. And it was full of green goomies, absolutely full. And what it was, was the hose, I had a look on the way when I come back down a few weeks later, and the hose was just full of slime. Now, you would not never know that. You know, how do you know that hose is not full of slime? And that's going to go into your bladder, sit there for six months, next time you use it, you know. So, you know, unless you had a drink water hose clean that you're putting in there, and unless you're putting beautiful fresh water, you know, you're going to get a taste, okay? It's just, that's how the world works, okay? So, the whole point of this is, the taste that you're getting out of this all depends on the taste of the water putting in and I reckon that the majority of the time the taste is coming from the hose because that absolutely stinks of PVC. It's not from that, it's from the hose. And if you want to put all these in there, that'd be great, but you ain't going to do that. My suggestion is use this for camp water, washing, wash your face, showering, camp water, washing up, all that sort of stuff. And you want to have a cup of tea, use one of those, okay? So that's about as best as I can explain it. That, that, that's the same with using the caravan with a, they've got plastic tanks, same thing, okay? I ain't gonna drink from the water in the caravan, no way. I'm gonna drink from one of those. If you get some set of drawers off beach and you've got a plastic tank, you ain't gonna re-drink from the plastic tank water. The same with the dot trailers, there's 400 out there. You're gonna get a plastic taste out of the, the roto molded plastic tank. And the same for these, okay? So, two separate things, drinking water, camp water, these are really designed for camp water, okay? Now I can take, I could, I could take the off the website so it doesn't say drink water safe, but it is, you know. Um, so I think I should leave it on there so you do know it's safe, but 
you know, if you ran out of water in the middle of the desert and you're starting to, 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 to uh, die of thirst, I, I'll use it, you know, but otherwise I ain't going to use it. All right, hope that explains it. And um, we'll put this on the website so everybody can see it and anyone buys this can understand that that's how it works. But um, that's speaking from experience and all my understanding from it. There you go. Thanks, guys.